it's freezing outside, so clearly all that global warming is a bunch of hooey, right? Winter or summer, the temperature of the planet is ticking steadily upwards. Since 1900, the planet has warmed by one full degree Celsius, or 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And each of the last five decades has been successively warmer than the decade before. Yet, every time a snowstorm hits, it seems like we hear at least one politician or media pundit try out the old chestnut. Global warming, global cooling more like, my car just got buried under three feet of snow. But just because it's cold in winter, doesn't mean the entire planet isn't warming over climate timescales. Let me explain. We have seasons on our planet because the axis of our Earth's rotation is not straight up and down. It's tilted 23 and a half degrees as it orbits around the sun. In winter, our hemisphere tilts away from the sun, which reduces the amount of energy we receive and makes it colder. In summer, we tilt towards the sun, which gives us more energy and makes it warmer. Will global warming affect the tilt of the Earth? Not really, but interestingly, it turns out that as our massive ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica melt, the weight of all that water going into the ocean is causing the Earth to wobble just a teeniest bit on its axis. But does this mean the end of the seasons? No, of course not. The Earth will still be tilted, and all the seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall, will continue to exist even as the planet warms. They'll just look and feel different than they have in the past. How are our seasons changing? Well, first of all, they are getting warmer. Yes, even winter. In many places today, what we would consider to be a cold winter would have just been an average winter a few decades ago. Then, summer weather is arriving earlier and it's lasting longer. Summers are hotter, with longer and more frequent heat waves, and extended growing seasons and wildfire seasons. Okay, you might say. So that's why we still have winter. But what about today? It's freezing. To answer this one, we need to understand the difference between weather versus climate. Weather is what happens in a certain place at a certain time. Climate is the long-term average of weather over at least 20 to 30 years. While the weather might fluctuate from day to day, climate is the long-term average. So that one cold snowy day or even week, that's weather. Global warming or not, we still get cold days, especially in winter. In fact, did you know that we actually break all kinds of cold temperature records every year? That's right. 10,632 of them in the US alone in 2017 to be exact. And when climate isn't changing, we break about the same number of hot temperature records. Since 2000 though, more than twice as many hot temperature records are being set on average as cold ones. In 2017, for example, the same year that we broke over 10,000 cold temperature records, we also broke 36,305 high temperature records. That's more than three times as many high temperature records as low ones. Any individual record, hot or cold, that's weather. But we're setting far more hot ones now than we were 30 or 50 years ago. The ratio is changing, and that's climate. It's pretty straightforward to connect extreme heat to a warming planet, but there is some funky stuff happening in other seasons too. Can you believe that warmer temperatures can actually increase the amount of snow that falls sometimes? That's right. As temperature warms, the air can hold more water vapor. When a storm comes along, there's more of it for that storm to sweep up and dump on us. If it's cold enough, all that water falls as, you guessed it, snow. And some of the biggest increases in heavy precipitation that we've seen the last few decades have been on the East Coast. So ironically, some of the very storms that the pundits and politicians have used to argue that the planet isn't warming are actually consistent with the fact that it is. Another cutting edge research topic these days is what's happening in the Arctic. There's some indication 
that the record warm temperatures we've seen in recent winters in the Arctic may be opening the freezer door, so to speak, letting Arctic air spill down over the mid-latitudes, where, although it might be balmy by Arctic standards, is freezing for us. We talk more about that in our global weirding episode called What Happens in the Arctic Doesn't Really Matter, Right? When it comes to climate and weather, though, there's one more common myth out there, and it goes something like this. You scientists can hardly predict the weather three days from now, but you expect us to believe you can tell us what's going to happen in 30 years? Predicting the weather is a tough gig. Why? Because weather is a chaotic system. It depends critically on initial conditions, and we're not able to observe and model those conditions in anywhere near enough detail to be 100% accurate all the time. However, weather forecasting is always getting better, thanks to the satellites, ocean buoys, and high-tech models that scientists are creating and using around the world. And the models we use for weather prediction are actually based on the exact same physics as climate models. But climate models have it a bit easier. They don't have to tell us what's going to happen at a specific place at a certain time. Instead, we use them to simulate the long-term statistics of weather and how they're affected by what we call external factors, like changes in energy from the sun, volcanic eruptions, and yes, human activities. Climate models give projections of what's going to happen decade by decade into the future. Over time scales where the uncertainty due to natural variability mostly averages out. So the biggest uncertainties in climate projections long term? The first one is trying to figure out how the planet's going to respond to this unprecedented experiment we're conducting in terms of all the carbon dioxide and heat trapping gases that we're pumping into the atmosphere faster than any time we know of even in the distant past. The second big uncertainty are the choices that we humans make that will determine future emissions and future change. So we can't predict what the weather's gonna be like on June 18, 2064, but we can say with confidence that the planet is warming over climate timescales. And the more fossil fuels we burn, the bigger and the faster the changes we'll see. Thanks for watching Global Weirding. This episode was brought to you in part by Citizens Climate Lobby. If you have any questions about climate versus weather, let us know during one of our Facebook Live Q&As. And please be sure to check out globalweirdingseries.com for more episodes. See you next time.